The Savannah Savages have had nothing but success under Anthony Hayes, winning 17 games of the last two seasons, but each ending short of a playoff berth. But you won't find anyone in Savannah talking about the postseason. I think I think you just do that daily. You know, you, you get after it all the time, and and uh, and you don't worry about the scoreboard, and you don't worry about your district. Your district, we don't even know who our district is right now. You know what I mean? It's like that's 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 a uh, that's a three months from now problem. Right now, we have to worry about week one, get ready for Pleasant Hill. The Savages have been great on the defensive side of the ball over the last two seasons, allowing 16 points per game in 2022 and 15 points per game last season. Yeah, we have uh, we had to fill a couple spots, but uh, those, like I said, those seniors that have been starting from their sophomore years or even the juniors that started their sophomore years, they all stepped up and helped those younger guys or those new guys learn how to fill a role and play with their, play with their best ability and just become the, make the defense a better overall. Savannah has had little trouble scoring the last two years, but the leading cast members will look a little different this fall. We have, we have a lot of threats that we didn't really get to showcase last year with Caden and Zayden getting the ball as much. They're obviously really good, but we have people who are going to fill in and do just as good, if not better, this year. People that can do a lot. We, we're, we've been producing. We've produced that team camp really well offensively, and we're, we're ready. Junior quarterback Aiden Connectenoffer says Martinez is just one of the guys that the team is excited to see with a bigger role this year. Stepping up, he's a senior this year. He's had a great summer, been doing good. He got one MVP at our offensive MVP at our SBU camp, and he's stepped up and played great. And Jackson Seegers, he's coming at running back. He works hard every day in practice. He's very strong and tough kid, and we're excited for those guys to step up in their positions. Savannah will open the season at home against the Pleasant Hill Roosters on August 30th. I'm excited. There's obviously like a level of familiarity with me, our expectations, our playbook, our terminology. So it makes you kind of hit the ground running a little bit quicker in, in third year. And, and so I think uh, our culture set, our expectations set, the kids understand how we want to do things. So it makes it that much more fun. Savages will then travel to East Buchanan week two. Anthony Crane, KQ2 Sports.